I mean, records are being broken left and right. Yeah, even some uh, all-time records going down out there, Lena. They had that big heat wave, obviously, historic for Washington, areas of, of Canada uh, two weeks ago, and now they're back to another one. Uh, that's not coming east. That's the good news. But the bad news is they've got that drought that is just drought feeds warmth and it feeds more drought. So just uh, ongoing issues out there. Uh, if only we could take some of our rain and, you know, give it right. to I mean, seriously, we we've got a lot. We have a lot. We've had too much. Uh, take a look at this video. Uh, Don Ferrante shot this earlier uh, safely from the passenger seat as he was driving through the Willoughby area. Very common scene across northeast Ohio this afternoon. We had Rarely use the term washout, but boy, we were in washout status uh, earlier today, and that continued through this afternoon as this chunk of rain came through. We were talking with the Indians. Do we get the game in or not? Last one before the All-Star break. Uh, today was the nada, postponed due to uh, all that rain we had. Pet, the big picture pattern, though, I want to kind of uh, spin off of what Lena was talking about in terms of the jet stream. They've got another ridge out west. Now, everything balances out, right? So it's cooler across the eastern half of the country. But you look at some of the numbers for areas of the southeast, Atlanta, Birmingham, where they're typically in the 90s. They even have near 100 degree readings this time of year. It has been very chilly, comparatively speaking, for the southeastern United States while the west has been baking. Everything obviously uh, playing together here. And this heat wave is not going to head east towards us this week. It's going to kind of get smashed down to the south. We have a warm week ahead, don't get me wrong, but we don't have that record heat heading our way. It's going to kind of sink down to the south. So let's talk the rainfall. Look at some of these numbers today. Over two inches officially at the Akron Canton Airport. Almost an inch at Cleveland Hopkins. You can see Mansfield over half an inch. This is where those official measurements are taken. So on the year so far, we have put a big dent in what we had, which was kind of a slight drought at times. We now are pretty much even, or we could use a couple more inches. Just not now, right? We need to let this drain in. Still plenty of rain that has fallen across the area. You see where that corridor is from down to the south, kind of striping its way up towards Trumbull County. Some widespread one to three inches in that corridor. Everyone else saw quite a bit of rain. It's two, exception being out towards the Sandusky area, down towards the south and east. Still an aerial flood warning for areas of Wayne County, uh, Stark County as well. You likely encountered some flooding of area roadways, and we still have some rain yet to fall. We're not quite drying out. In fact, we've got so much moisture up above us that we could wring out rain even at night with this pattern right now. And you can see how we had a little instability, got a little sun peak in there this afternoon, and boom, we've got some downpours starting to pop up. Not a lot of thunder today. There's not a lot of instability, but we can ring out some rain. Northern section of Tuscarawas County, southern Stark County seeing some heavier rain just north of Strasburg now. We've got a cell near Worcester putting down some heavier rain, and this one near Mansfield, just north of town, is really putting down uh, pretty decent downpours. And then Norwalk, you've been dealing with this over the last half hour. So some more heavy rain in the forecast. It will be scattered from here on out. That's the good news. But look at this pattern. Upper level lows just going to sit and spin over the next two days before it finally gets kicked off towards the north and the east. We're the recipients of, I mean, basically, if you picture a water wheel here, just taking the water from the Gulf and bringing it up, that's what we're dealing with. We've also got the thick humidity around as well. So the humid... It's not going to go away. The humidity is not this week. Look at the muggy meter. We stay in the tropical category. This is the question mark in the forecast. Can we get some dry air in here for the weekend? I'm leaning optimistic at this point. We'll see where we go from here. This is a cool look at how much moisture is up above us. We can measure that. We call it precipitable water. Basically, if you were to squeeze the atmosphere out, how much rain can fall, a little bit or a lot. When you get some of these brighter shades of blue, that's a lot. That's some 200% of where we normally are. Look at the pinwheel the next two days. So any thunderstorms we have can produce some very heavy rain. Things will start to break up a little bit as we get into Wednesday, Thursday before a front approaches this weekend. So what's that look like here at the surface? Surface National Design Mart Hour by our forecast. We'll quiet down for the most part tonight. Still some scattered downpours. Just muggy tomorrow morning. Clouds, some fog around, and then you can see by midday we're sparking some downpours, and that will continue through afternoon. With the amount of instability we have, we could be dealing with some strong to severe storms as well, and rainfall doesn't fall evenly this time of year, but you get the picture. We could see upwards of an inch or more of rain in some of these storms tomorrow. Union Home Mortgage seven-day forecast. I've got us in the low 80s the next couple days. Scattered storms all the way through Wednesday. I'll dry us out Thursday, but heat us up. And then for the weekend, we get more storms back in the forecast on Friday and Saturday with the front. And hopefully that'll cool us down for the weekend. Lena. All right. Thanks, Matt.